Welcome to the Davis Learning Institute, DLI Germany, Sun Seno Hamburg University, CHU, and Partner Universities. Welcome to the student's admission process. This video is made for our continental admission officers. So if you're part of our team, this is a short training admissions video. Um, even so, I'm reaching you all the way from DLI Germany in Deutschland or Germany, as you may like it, in English language. So what am I going to show you here or what am I going to train you on? So here we are going to follow step by step the process that we're going to do when admitting students or a particular student. So what is involved, of course, step one, receiving an application letter through a PDF or a ad copy sent to you or through an online application. The target or the end result is, should be the same giving out that admission letter. Very important. Step two, before you say yes or no, check with the admission guide document, which is supposed to be on your table or on your computer as you're doing the admission process. I'm gonna explain point by point. Step three, get to the actual admission form and process by entering the actual data into that admission form. So what I'm trying to say here, step three, that's the final step. We have got several admission forms regarding the applicants because we've got applicants who are straight from school or they are called school leavers and they possess the ordinary levels or the all levels. So how do we treat their school leaver certificates? It's totally different from those applicants that are going to come through or apply and they possess the A levels or advanced levels. So we've got a checklist, okay? Also, we've got applicants who'd love to do their master's degrees and they have got the bachelor degrees already. How are we going to treat them? What kind of form, admission form are we going to use? Also, we've got those that possess the master's degrees and they would love to further on to the PhD. Now, I'm going to remove this screen and use the documents that I'm talking about. Here is you now as the admissions officer. This is for instance, okay, my folder where all the necessary documents are supposed to lie. I'm going to click here. Okay, now this, look at this. Uh, because of disclaimer, I cannot use the actual school leaver certificates. I've just created something that is going to, you know, represent a school leaver certificate or any certificate somebody is presenting to you as the admissions office. So how does it start? Here we go. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. Now here, let's assume I'm going to run quite quickly. You don't have to read this. This is general application from somebody applied from a certain country and filled in all these things. Let me see where there's no names so that we can check what this person has applied for. Okay. What do you want to study? Okay, not properly indicated here. Okay, so state the program of study in the space, what you'd love to study. So this person applied for bachelor degree, but he's supposed to indicate this is, you know, uh, 
not a good example. For instance, this person says, I want to study bachelor in mechanical engineering. Okay, so this person applied using a PDF form and sent to your email address. That's person one. Another person would apply, you can put something, yes, let me do that. Another person would apply using the online forms. Okay, so now here, perfect. This is how our online tool is going to look, okay, before you, after we've given you a key to enter and see the applicants. Now, look at this. Okay, never mind, everything is gonna be done. So after you've entered with your key, okay, and you'd love to view how many have applied. So here, 54 people have applied. So you're gonna click on view here. Okay, okay, first we've got to log in. Yes, I've logged in. Once again, perfect. Then you're gonna go to view loading here we go so you can see from page one to i think the last is six page all these pages or windows here to fix they contain 56 applicants all right so also you don't have to you know check their names what you're gonna do is that you're gonna start from the first page here and click one by one okay i think this is a sample which i created yes i think this one we can use it all right so this is your student now title mr first name evans surname luke mona date of birth and and building you're gonna follow through okay and check the upload the passport data page but this is gonna be updated because we hear that some people do not have passports and uh, they don't have the national ID. So here we're going to put upload passport or national ID or birth certificate, without which we can't go further. So you're going to download here, if necessary, and check. Then you're going to go forward. Okay, personal details, you are finished. Click here, educational history what this applicant has started. Okay, there's just something funny, never mind. Okay, then you're gonna go to the next window here. Okay, address of sponsor, we're just gonna put something, name of sponsor, John Lukumona, uh, email address of sponsor, who is the sponsor for your studies? So dad or father, declaration. So here, yeah, reason for applying, would love to advance my brain, or oh, something like that, whatever the student is gonna write here. Student declaration, okay? Great cause, and you know, here he has to mention something, I'm gonna work hard, and the information that I've given above is nothing but the truth. Course applying for, course applying for here, state your program of study, Bemba and Tonga, these are some of the languages, you know, in uh, African context, it's under this specific. How did you know about this? Through a friend, okay? So now you as an admission officer, if there are some people specifically that, you, you know, you'd love them to state, or they came to know about you, they would have filled in here. I came to know about this program through a regional director in Kenya, for instance, or in Nigeria, and stating the name. Give your Skype account, just like that. Upload your certificate. Now, the highest certificate of education. Upload it here. You're going to click here to uh, view whatever that person has put on. So, that done, what comes next? You've received. The application form. Now, what you're going to do is to counter check do these applicants qualify to study the degree they want to do? How do you do? 
or how do you go about it? So here, how this is how you counter check. Okay. So let us assume um, I've got sample certificates that you downloaded from the online or sent to you via email by the applicant. Okay. So we've got this one, and I'm gonna do this one. I'd love to start with B. These are various applicants. So this is what is gonna come on your face. Now you are checking. This is student Johnson uh, Francis, for instance. He is a school leaver, secondary school leaving certificate. Ordinary levels or all levels. So you know that this boy or applicant is coming straight from secondary school. He has got no A levels or advanced levels. Okay? Which simply means that this student is going to go straight into the first year called foundation level. Okay? He's going to be two. First year of the university, two seven stars, it's going to be the bridging course to lead him to the main core of the degree, which starts in the second year. Okay, so in any case, first he's going to do the first year, which we still call the A level study or university foundation study. Now, here is a student. Let's have a look at this boy. For instance, this boy says, I would love to study, I'm going to write yeah. here, okay? And he's saying, okay, study medicine. Do it in red ink. Medicine always, in most cases, represented by this color. He wants to study medicine. So what are you going to do? Do not rush into saying, yes, you got it. To study medicine. After you've got that, go back to what we call the admission score guide. Okay, this is the admission score guide. Okay, so now on a piece of paper, you're going to write that the boy wants medicine. Okay, wants medicine. Next. I need to counter check with admission score guide. Why? Because you'd love to see if he has got the electives. Electives are the subjects on his certificate, school liver certificate that qualifies him to do medicine. Now, let's check. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so D L I German C H U and Partner University Student Admission Guide. Now look at this. A school leavers with all levels, GCSE, ITCSE, or equivalents according to the country, they are called differently. Okay. Most important is that this person has got no A levels. Now, this student, which school has he applied for? We are talking about this student here. He has applied for medicine. So I'm going to go back and counter check where is medicine here, School of Engineering, School of Medicine and Health Sciences. This is one of our departments. Now, let's uh, I'm gonna take it. I love shading. I hope this is gonna come through well. Perfect. Okay. Now, medicine expected grade average in five subjects. Okay. So the grade average should be up to 15 points if you wanna do or somebody wants to do medicine like this boy. What does it mean? We're going to go back here. In five subjects, he has to have maximum or minimum 15 points. So you're going to count and you check the best. Okay, so one is the best, two, 
three, four, five. Okay? So I'm gonna color them a bit. I'm gonna do this. So it's gonna have that. It's gonna have that. You as the admission officer, you're looking for the best scores from this certificate, this student. So how many? One, two, three, four, five. So up to 15 points. So this is point one, two, three, one, three. One, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I'm right. Once more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he's got ten points. Awesome. This student has qualified to enroll for School of Medicine as at now. Okay, I'm saying as at now because it's not just a question of meeting the number of points. Okay, remember he has got 10 points out of the required 15 points as the maximum. Now, let's check something else. We are along here. I'm going to share with medicine. I'm going to share. But First year modules, okay? Before we go to the first year modules, still here. 15 points, yes, we have got 10 points. Well done. The main electives from his certificate, okay? What subjects are you going to follow to grade him to qualify to do medicine? So he has got to have biology, okay? Chemistry, physics, plus any other check out this plus any other so does he have biology chemistry physics mm. so meaning the main electives are three biology chemistry physics let's go back to the check from his certificate has he got physics yes has he got chemistry? Yes. Has he got biology? Yes. Mathematics. Why not mathematics? In medical studies, medicine, mathematics is not a factor. Physics, chemistry, but of course, mathematics can fall on as a supporting bout. Okay? So, here is the student. One, two, three. He has met the conditions. Sometimes there could be physical or there could be general science that's not a problem so wow this student has made the condition so what subject is he going to do at first year these are the subjects you are going to give this applicant okay on his admission letter i repeat on this ad on his admission letter you are going to write your first year modules or subjects are Physics, chemistry, biology, IT, and German language. Remember, German language is compulsory because of the attachment he's got to Germany. One day, this student is going to find himself or herself in Germany. Okay? IT as well is compulsory. We're talking of the technological world. So, at the first year study, you are going to give this student here. I hope you get it. Now, what's the next after I've counter checked? I said, well, fine. This boy can do um, medicine. So where do you go to now? From the list of admission. Now I'm gonna take this away. Now you need the appropriate admission form. These three, one, two, three, four, these are different admission forms. Okay, this one is called uh, applying for bachelor with A levels. No, this person has applied for bachelor study and he possesses all levels. So you are going to click here. Wait a second, it's going to come through shortly. Because I am satisfied that. The student, okay, 
a student can study medicine, okay? Let me say this student, please. This is a standard, okay? Template. You're going to be changing everywhere where there's blue. Okay, this is your pen now on computer. Now check, counter check, academic and professional study additional letter for bachelor degree. Entry with ordinary or all levels. So you've got the correct form for this student who wants to do medicine, okay, through all levels position. Now I gave this student, I think I've been forgotten the names. Let's say the names are um, Justin. Um, sorry, I'm not supposed to write here. My case are okay here. Justin Johnson. Okay, please always what you fill out. It's gonna be in blue and slides. Okay, Justin Johnson. Your national ID number. So this person has given this ID number to the passport or anything. So let's say uh, where is he applying from? We're gonna take a sample of Nigeria. Just Johnson from Nigeria. Let's say Nigeria passport maybe looks like this. Okay. It's just some creation. Now, how do you create your national ID? The first two, okay? The first two initials shall come from the first letters of his name. So this one is going to be JJ, okay? UG means undergraduate. So you leave it undergraduate, meaning bachelor. One, two, three, Four, okay. If this is the first person to apply from Nigeria, okay, you are going to say one, two, three, four, zero, one, okay. Attached to Germany and which country? Zam, that was Zambia, Nigeria. I think um, short for Nigeria. Let me say. Okay, I have to be sure. If the short form, international short form for Nigeria is NG, you are going to write NG so that anybody will know that this applicant, okay, is applying from Nigeria. This is the student ID you have given, okay, that boy or Jones, Justin Johnson. And this is the ID which is going to appear on his ID card from Diverse Learning Institute. Remember, this is the first admission letter from DLI. There's going to be another admission letter from his university. His full address. Okay. Let's just say, okay, plot this and that, Highlands. Okay. Uh, Lagos, Nigeria. Admission date, okay. Admission date, let's say today is the 15th of, uh, come on, 15, I guess it's slow. September 2020. Now, admission date at, even when you are admitting this student from Nigeria, you are going to say at Hamburg Elmson, Germany, Europe, because you are representing Germany. Don't put Nigeria, Lagos, no. So you are acting on behalf of our office in Germany. So dear student, on behalf of the entire team of the Diverse Learning Institute and our partner university. Now, why this in blue? Remember, it's either the student has chosen through the brochure. We have told the students, that's why students have to read the brochure. Choose the university of affiliation. Is it Atlantic International University, AIU, or Kiev Slavonic University, KSU? So now we are going to assume that this student chose KSU.
because it's quite cheaper, only in 130 euros, okay, uh, at creation. So that's why we are putting it here. If there's another university, we're going to put it here. So then blah, blah. This here, don't change. These are standard. The black, I want you to read it, it's standard. Then I'm still admitting this boy, Justin Johnson, study program. Now, this is gonna go because he has applied for Bachelor of Medicine. Okay, Bachelor of Medicine. Which falls, oh, this is correct, School of Medicine and Health Sciences. Yes, please check the school. Where is the school? We uploaded it here School of Medicine and Health Sciences. Remember, this is your student guide. You want to go back? Where is the document? I'm still on him. So, this is correct. First year, subject combination. Not information technology, IT, and German language are compulsory for any degree. Okay, first year compulsory. So now, here this is gonna go say that is supposed to have physics. Oh, that look at my cursor. Look at my cursor. So here we you're going to write physics. Biology. Here we go. And that's it. So the future medical student, physics, chemistry, biology. Very important. If somebody says I want to do mathematics as well, you're going to add mathematics. So your chosen affiliation university ticked. This is what you chose because this is another university which can give the same degree, but he opted for this one here. Make it in blue as well. Okay. Then let's go ahead. Study mode full time. Yes, of course. Contact distance learning. Of course, you take. Cost duration, now let's check, medicine. Very important, I want you to be very, very careful here. Because this boy has got no A-levels, he's joining with all levels, or ordinary levels, he's going to take the longer pathway, which is seven years, okay? So you're going to write seven years here. First year, doing these subjects, then the other six years, the main call. Current study venue, where? In Nigeria, remember? Boy, from Nigeria. Commencement date, of course, you're gonna change here. You're gonna say, October, November, 2020, okay, as the winter intake. That if you don't need to state on 26 October, just say October, November, 2020. Expected graduation. Now, check this, seven years plus 2020. So it's going to be 27. Okay, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 2027, quite a long way to go for medicine. Okay, because he's only got all levels. Then you're gonna continue further down, you're still producing. Okay, you don't need to read much. Already this is his university. Now make sure you pay the KSU affiliation fee. This is constant, okay? Let it be there as long as he is anybody is with Kiel, Sabonic University. This is affiliation fee. So immediately you pay the scholarship contribution fee of okay. Now this is 
scholarship contribution fee is the same as tuition fee. Nigeria, you have to go back, okay? You have to go back to that list, fees for Nigeria. I don't wanna go back there. Let us assume uh, the fees per semester for Nigeria are 200 euros, okay? So you're going to write 100 euros plus a registration fee, we said, this is 10, okay, 10 euros. So you are going to highlight here, blue, that's for Nigeria, please, Kenya, if you've got different, Uganda different, South Africa different, and so on, counter check and write here. So we know that is semester, okay, this is compulsory, remember, 20 British pounds, for entrepreneurship course. All our students gotta be entrepreneurs. So never mind where there's no blue, just scroll. Okay, what did you have here? This one, Nigeria, 400. Okay, so we're moving on. So never mind here. Now, initial fees expected from you are. Nigeria 400 plus tuition fee per semester plus a registration fee plus a KSU plus um, the WMOC, um, what is it called? Uh, entrepreneurship fee. See pay points below. So you fill out according to your country fee. Okay, these let me say are constant. Let me check. I hope you're able to see that. These we will never change as long as you are dealing with KSU and WMOC, just the same. But you're going to change here. Okay. Zambia has got different uh, here. Uh, what else? Uh, Kenya has got different. Uganda, South Africa, and so on. So on. take care. But everything is going to be in blue. I'm going to get back. Just, that was just for demonstration purposes. Now I scroll back. Never mind where there's no blue. Just follow where the, there is blue. Just follow where there is blue. That's where I'm gonna edit. Oh, I'm done with the blue patches. Therefore, okay, you are signing on behalf of the head office in Germany. For the head office in Germany, admitted by now, this applies in Nigeria. Let us assume uh, the admissions officer from Nigeria, okay, was this guy. I still remember some names of our team. This guy, when Jai, uh, just, okay, so you're going to put that in blue. Nature here. Okay. Remember when you convert this, okay, when you convert this to PDF, you are able to put your signature. Okay. Or if you don't want to convert uh, to have the trouble to do signature on PDF, you can just write your initial initial as a okay. When a your signature, copy to your regional director and following offices. So it comes to the president, Germany, chief international director, CID, Germany. And very important here, take note. Okay, copy it also to this one. I'm gonna do it blue, okay? Why here? Yeah, because this is the university attached. This university, KSU, is going to receive the same document Okay, when you send this admission letter to that student, you are going to copy and forward it as well. Not to copy, you are just going to forward it also or attach it to the KSU email address so that they know, oh, DLI, Germany has uh, admitted Justin Johnson. Because the moment you admit, you have gone through all the processes. So 
KSU does not need to start going through the same processes. They believe because we have agreed on the entry requirements. Okay, so you don't have to do it blue. It was just demonstration. Can I get back there? Okay, so now student and sponsor in declaration. This is very important. Okay, I and my sponsor or sponsors have read all the details above, all well understood. Therefore, I and my sponsors or sponsor have signed below. Please, when you send this, make sure the student Justin, okay, Justin Johnson is going to be student, is here, signature here, country, city, country, Nigeria, date, whatever date is going to be. Then the father or mother or cousin or a company, they are going to fill out here to say, yes, we're going to pay for the student. And every document has got the fees, local and international bank transfer. Very important. Remember, no cash payment. So this is going to be read by the student, everything, okay? And take note as admissions officer, because these students want to be posting the money to the TLI Germany account in Deutschland or in Germany, we are saying they should start transferring the money month end of September, okay? Because we are preparing here with the bank how, you know, the fees are going to be, fees coming from Nigeria, how is it going to be put in the bank, fees coming from uh, Kenya, fees coming from uh, Uganda, fees from South Africa, you know, separation of the windows. So that is going to take some dear bit of time. Hence, the payment will start on 30th of September. But that's not important. Important here is this is what the student is going to be reading, everything. A, students in West Africa, East and Central Africa, Southern Africa, North Africa, Europe, Asia, and other regions, except Zambia, should deposit in the following bank accounts as discussed. Why except Zambia? Because Zambia, they are already in the second phase and they have got their own bank account in Zambia, where you are also heading to. So, students from the regions, this is how it's gonna be, okay? From 30 September, this is the DLR account they're going to deposit address and stuff. That is the tuition, DLI tuition fees have to come here. Separation, the affiliation fee, Kiev Slavonic affiliation fee is going to be put into this Trigatane NGO account in Germany. Then later on, forwarded to um, Kiev University. We have agreed on that. But those who are affiliated to AIU, International, uh, Atlantic International University, please don't use any, or West Midlands Open College, don't use any of the above uh, bank accounts. That's why we are saying warning for AIU or WMOC, please write to them, okay? I've been admitted by DLI. Now I would love to deposit your affiliation money and they're going to give you full instruction or they're going to give the student full instruction. Yeah, not you because you are the admissions officer. <laughs> B, Zambian students to be used only by the students based in Zambia. Okay, it doesn't concern uh, other regions. So. This is what the Zambians have been doing, okay? Uh, 130 euros uh, affiliation to KSU, still here, tuition fees in Zambia, and so on and so forth. So, as admission officer, you are done with this student. You are done with Johnson and Johnson. So what is going to come next is please convert. Okay, convert your document to PDF. Yes, convert to PDF and you're going to select, let's say, well, admissions, depending on how you've done it. So admissions, PDF, now you're going to label it. This is Justin. John 
son. Nigeria. Okay? That's all. Because you're going to deal with so many students. Check it, Nigeria and stuff. Then you're going to save it. Perfect. And this is, okay, do, do I save it? Oh, I'm going to say yes, because I've canceled it and it's gone. So I've got Johnson in my folder. This is Johnson, Johnson, admission letter, done. So Johnson, Johnson is going to receive this year. Okay, so where do you send to this? One, write down, you are going to send to Johnson, Justin Johnson, email, to copied to KSU University, three, copied to DLI Germany, in Germany, these are the emails you are going to send to. Perfect. So thereafter, KSU is going to produce the second and final admission. Okay. DLI as well is going to receive this, print it out and stamp it. And John, Justin Johnson, is now mandated to make the payments and everything follows on. So now, Justin, that was the applicant, okay? That was the applicant for, for the all levels. He's got all levels. Now let's have a look at another applicant. Have a look at another applicant who's got advanced levels. Second school leaving certificate, advanced level. You know, sometimes classification is different. Normally in A levels, there's A, B, C, D, E, F, which is the fail. A, the best. F, fail. So now this person says, I want to apply for wisdom. Mechanical engineering. Okay. Main. Bachelor in. Mechanical engineering, you're gonna give it green. Mm. Mechanical engineering. So, what do you do? The same process. Quickly, you're gonna go back to this link. It's gone at this scoreboard. Okay, let's check the quick one. I hope you see the screen. Yeah, mechanical engineering. Let me make it a bit more. Yeah. School of Engineering. Okay, with your cursor. Okay, I love being guided by that. So, this is where this person belongs to. Which subject is he supposed to have on his certificate? The entry subject. Okay. So, mm, here we go. He's supposed to have mathematics, physics plus any other. So maths and physics, they will lead into mechanical engineering. Remember, A-level holders, they have sometimes only got up to four uh, subjects on their certificates, sometimes three, okay? So it simply means if he qualifies, I'm going to give him mathematics, physics, chemistry as the prerequisite, plus these two guys, IT and German language, always there. Okay, sometimes you don't even have to give him chemistry, he can take up another subject, but math and physics, they are a must. Okay, now, here we were looking at the grading points with the numbers, numerical values, one, two, three, and so on, but he has got a different system. Okay, just look at this. Yeah, look, it's got A, B, C, D, E. Now, where do you get that from? I'm going to do this. Scroll further down. Okay. Scroll further down. Applic 
applicant with A levels, IB, that is international baccalaureate, so uh, another system which came after A levels, university foundation or UF, or equivalent, at least somebody who's done A levels or university foundation somewhere, the applicant should possess at least three strong entry subjects or modules done for at least one year with average grade up to C plus or D plus or is equivalent, meaning these should be the minimum scores. You have to have A plus and so on and so forth. So this applicant, does he fall within the range? Let's check. Hmm, let me check this applicant. Wow, he's got A, okay. Let's watch it in green. B looks good. Hmm, C looks good. Another C looks good. But what has he applied for? Mechanical engineering. Therefore, the main star describing his entry are these here. Okay. Reading them. Yeah. Mathematics. Yes. Yes. Within range. Great. Therefore, what comes next? You say you have qualified and you ask the admissions officer, what are you going to do? You are going to go to this person now, bachelor with A level entry. You're going to click here. Okay. Mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering, a quick one. So counter check your document all the time. Entry with advanced levels. Yes, you want to pursue, pursue uh, a bachelor. Okay. So now we're going to have a lady here, let's call this lady the applicant is from Kenya. Okay. Kenya, whom do I know? I think I know my young Kisumui. Okay, related to some Kenyan name somewhere. Okay, never mind the ID number here. So the student ID you are going to give is Mariam Kisumui. Undergraduate, let's say Mariam is number 12 in Kenya. In Kenya, the issues are K, K N or K Y. Okay, I've got to figure out that one. Perfect, my geography is not so good sometimes. So, Kenya, Germany with Kenya, Mariam Kisumoyo, undergraduate applicant number 12. So let's just change everything here. Nairobi, Kenya. Okay, the date. Check. You're going to put the current date. This, this should remain. Don't attempt to change. Okay. So this person, let us assume, has opted for ARU. Atlantic International University. So classes held in Kenya. Okay. So your entry method, yes, advanced levels. I hope the other one I changed also to at all levels. So program of study in K. That's mechanical. Okay, BSc, of course, the initials are going to be there. School of, School of Engineering. Okay. Let me confirm the school. Confirm the school, what is it called? School of Engineering. Yes. Back. Full modules. Now, this is quite interesting. Check. This person has entered with advanced levels, okay? You are not going to give this person again the, the modules I've mentioned there. No, he already has got the A levels. So the full module combination, this one is going to start from the main core of the degree, okay? Which simply means his course is going to be shorter by one year by virtue of having a gun A level. So you leave it like this. The full modules description will be sent 
you okay this is going to show first year so many modules i mean first semester oh yeah first year so many modules second year third year okay and so on your chosen university so now this we are going to do this american university we're going to say no to blue and we're gonna share this one okay and admit so oh. a degree study you chose that entrepreneurship always there everything remains so current study venue kenya kenya october november winter intake yes mm -hmm. uh mechanical engineering with a levels so you are dropping one year okay you're dropping one year it's going to be only plus three point five years so it's going to be 20 21 22 23 okay 20 23 stroke, we're going to put a four there because mechanical engineering is like that, not this one here. Here we go. Okay, then here you are going to edit it is AIU, National University. Here. Now, fees for Kenya. Kenya, please check your fees and you're going to put your fees here. Everyone goes through that. Also, here, M fees, you're going to put them here. Check your, your fee sheet. Okay, also here, registration, which I can remember. It's 10 round. Okay everything similar and you check your fees you're gonna give maria gonna put the fees here and the kenya fees again some fees above we're gonna put here then please affiliation by the way affiliation for uh aiu is different I remember i think you a dollar one thousand four hundred that's the aviation for usa i think you're gonna come to check here affiliation where was that affiliation affiliation wherever you're gonna find one state euros put 1400 okay for those who are doing good you can manage and as well okay who is the admissions officer in kenya okay let us say this is mrs or mrs purity purity surname here and your signature here that's all oh and this student now knows that i've applied for atlantic international university therefore he is going to write or she's going because it's mariam to info at aiu.edu and they're going to respond back awesome and this admission letter is complete as well you can convert it to pdf I'm going to cancel it. Should I save? Yes, I've saved. So you're going to send also that document to um, you now as the admissions officer. You are going to send it to AIU email address to the applicant who is Mariam uh, Kisumoi and copy to DLI Germany. Perfect. Now let's have a look at the last applicant. So we've dealt with all levels and A levels. So these are gone. Can we save? No. Now let's check the other applicants. 
here we go. You've got now a holder of university bachelor degree in mechanical engineering, applying for MBA Master of Business Administration. I want to say something quite important here. Please, if you've got somebody from the world of engineering wanting to go into the world of business or humanity, that is allowed, okay? A mechanical engineer can do master of business administration, but a holder of business administration who's got a degree in business administration cannot apply to do masters in mechanical engineering. It is believed, it is impossible, you are coming from the business world to go and do masters in mechanical engineering, no. Okay, so it is believed the engineers, they have got the gist, the power to do business and other courses. But the other way around, it is not. Very important. Okay, so here, what do you do? Let's go back to the holder of Bachelor in Mechanical Engineering applying for MBA. So let's see some guide here. You go back always to your guide further down. Okay. See masters and PhD applicants interview best. Call on to our office for details. The master's study programs can either be pursued within your country via contact distance learning or at the state university in Germany. The PhD studies are totally done in Germany. So PhD studies purely done in Germany. So if you've got a PhD applicant, just for them to Germany, we're gonna deal with that. And here, though it says master's study program can either be pursued within your country or in Germany, at the moment, master's programs are supposed to be studied in your country. We only allow the PhD uh, programs to be studied here. So when you come across such kind of a uh, applicant, just for them to DLI Germany. And now this brings this to almost a conclusion. Now I'm going to write, I have done applicant with all levels, applicant with A levels. Now I've also done applicant. Uh, let me, I've just talked about it, this one. Okay, let me click on it. Let me click on it. These are the various admission forms you're gonna have. Okay, now, he or she wants to pursue master's degree entering with a bachelor, okay? So this is what we are going to do. We write the same stuff, we write, 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 just as before, okay? Just as before, just enter the necessary fees involved, um, attachment or affiliation fees, which university that person has chosen. It's just the same thing. I won't spend much time. Now, here, we've got Bachma, a special document I want to talk about. Okay? Bachma, what is Bachma? Bachma is a fast track study of both bachelor and master's. Okay? That's why it's called Bachma. Bachelor and Master's Sandwich, a combination. So this person does the first two years, bachelor modules, then the last one and a half years, master's to make it three and a half years altogether. Who uses bachelor entry? Those with diploma, who hold diploma, okay? And they want to do master. So you tell them, please, you wanna come through? This process of Bachma. Okay, so you are just going to enter the names here, their IDs, and here the initials. Now, instead of undergraduate, you're going to say Batch. Okay, Bachma. Here, let's say Uganda now, applying from Uganda. Student number 75. That's all. Uganda. 
and everything falls now just like let's assume you chose that you're going to choose you're going to write uganda here zambia okay what's the entry method so this one entered me roma okay program and level so you simply going to say ba batch ma in business okay for business full modules combination to be sent yes study progression first two years to bachelor and final 1.5 years leading to master so in total 3.5 university yes okay so instead of three years it's going to be total three and a half and here black because it doesn't appear okay current study venue we've said uganda uganda and yes three and a half you are going to do mathematics check the correct mathematics 2020 plus three and a half yes it's going to be 2024 and so on so what are the fees so the fees please take note don't combine the fees of masters and but start with the fees because he or she is starting with bachelor code the fees for bachelor for uganda okay court because at the moment he, he or she's doing bachelor so you're going to write your fees are so much and here you're going to change everything just like explained in the other video and you're going to come you're going to change the appropriate fees and you're going to add the appropriate fees and the rest is history and you're going to go down to signature now who has done the admission and say uh, 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 the GI, I'm still mastering the names, yes. And signature here. And it's incumbent upon the student to check which account to deposit it. Gonna save now your template and convert it to PDF and equally also send it to the appropriate offices to KSU in this case to the applicant and to DLI Germany. And that concludes the process of admissions. Once more, signing off. I hope you got something. If you've got questions as the admissions officer, please do not hesitate. Ask and we're going to do some clarification. Now we're gonna we're going to end the session.